Hello, everyone. Walk that way. Walk that way. I had two groups these cattle I put together. One group of cows has been running with Charlotte, uh, Charlotte Bulls, the Brahmin Bulls since March. Then I just put 30 or 20, 80 girls last week. And last week, it's, I guess, the end of last week of June. And synchronized, put Brahmin Bulls with them. It's kind of funny. I've got uh, like nine Brahmins in here. The Brahmins hang out by themselves. So I do have nine Brahmins in this pasture. That are all spreads. Again, if somebody watched my videos on the internet, on, on YouTube, uh, the group of 28, I think I was 30, actually it was 28. I threw them with this another group. I had 50 in this group. And I've already palpated about, I know about 15 or so are going to be fall calves, spring brahmin. Young cows, most of these girls are three year olds or heifers, you know, so you tell young, those are all heifers there. Again, I synchronized these girls. The ones with the Angus calves, I just synchronized them last week. And the, some of these Hereford calves been born, I mean, they're, they're, that dude's a, a month old, so his mom just been national service. But then I had about 20 pairs in there that have been synchronized. Uh, their moms were new lace back in March, so. I mean, these little farts will be bred back, but a lot of these are going to be bred back by these Brahmin bulls. But you know, northern, northern producers buy these calves, these cattle, and don't want the Brahmin calves. At weaning, I'll buy the F1s back. So again, I'll bid you whatever your commercial calves are bringing, I'll give you 10% more on that, because I know these F1s do down here. So I'll bid you a straight rate on all your F1s. Man, Missouri's been constantly, why don't you breed Brahmin? Why don't you Brahmin? Because, you know, if these go north, I'll, uh, he's, why don't you breed them Angus? Well, I like it, Angus, but man, down here in the south, F1's king. F1 Rayford, that's, that's, that's king. I mean, I, I sold some last week in a week market. It's still got 2,800 for heavy bred heifers. So, any other breed I can do it on. Here's a bunch of these trees still. It's about 900 degrees today. Summer's here. Walk on out, girls. Bunch of cattle in this pasture. Again, I got like 10 or 12 Brahmins that are springing, two pairs of bread cows. Juanita, como estas? I got my new hired hand over there. Good worker, smart, hitting that hard on the ass. Hell of a deal. Come on, girls. Again, these bread calves, the herp calves, these, you know, a, there's a hand, I think I had four of them have smaller babies on them. Been born the past month. Four or five of these have smaller babies. But most of these calves are born uh, late, late winter, early spring. And, and I did have a group of 15 head. I weaned in, in the this winter. They were fall calves, and they're they're already palpated bred back. So. Nice out again. I've, I have 28 one group, uh, these black baldy calves, then another 50 in the other group with 29 calves. So basically, I got close to 80 or 70, 70 something head in the I got some nice problems with them as well. You don't kill yourself. I got some bull power. My bulls are nice. Brown bulls have been working these ladies. Good Hereford cattle. Nice string of calves on them. Again, I synchronized part of this part of this group in March. And then synchronized last week ago, last Monday. I synchronized 28 of them. And then I have five or six have smaller babies that obviously haven't bred back yet.
Good cattle house in Bastrop, Texas. You know, I'm playing hobbits. Again, these young Brahmins are for sale, and so are these, obviously, Herefords. It's an Elmo's son right there. <laughs>